So even maidens weren't allowed to come here, huh? Graves spooked the hell out of me. I'm surprised Donna came here alone. I agree. For someone who seems so reserved, Donna, you often take rather bold courses of action. So you're saying she's reckless? Hummel! <laughs> it's okay. Olga used to say that about me, too. But I wasn't always like this. Really? Yes. When I still lived with my family, when my mother was still alive. Do you understand, my darling Donna? Then I want you to promise me something. Promise me that you will never take off that ring. It's for your own good. Ever since I was a little girl, I've had the power to see visions of the future. But not every future I saw was a happy one. To be honest, I wish I'd never seen most of the visions that have come to me. Many of them are scenes of pain and suffering. When I was still little, I became withdrawn and depressed from all that I had seen. Could tell something was wrong, so she tried to help me by giving me a ring. This ring blocked my connection to essence, which sealed my power to see visions. Listen carefully, Donna. The world is a happy place, but sometimes it brings hardship for what feels like no reason. Most people don't want to accept the bad things, so they look away and pretend they can't see them. They do that because their hearts are delicate, and that's not always a bad thing. But you're such a caring child that I know how hard it will be for you to look away. This ring will help you live your life like everyone else. No matter where you go, make sure you always wear it. After I received that ring, I was finally able to have a normal childhood, just like the other kids. I never felt safer than I did surrounded by my parents' warm, unshakable love. Then one day... sealed my powers. I would have foreseen the accident. I would have heard my mother's voice crying for help. I felt remorse for sealing my power for the sake of protecting myself. From that day on, I vowed to prevent as much suffering and sadness as I could, to never turn a blind eye toward it. Father, I've decided. The houses visited by the messenger are said to receive blessings afterward, right? And if I do become the maiden of the great tree, I'll be able to help a lot of people. I want to do this to honor mom. How awful, Donna. Since then, I've always felt like I would fade away if I didn't prevent enough suffering. I'd get so scared that I would just act without thinking sometimes. And then, I'd just cause more problems for Olga. Donna... Mm. That's heavy. I don't know what to say, really. <laughs> it's all in the past now. Anyway, sometime tomorrow we'll be searching the tomb. We should all get some rest. <laughs> 